I realize that I have a lot of pain in myself that I'm not aware of, and a lot of numbness as well. I think I had a lot of doubts and fears, and how could you not, <laughs> right? Here, like coming into this place, and telling, someone tells you that this stranger is gonna be giving you a full body massage, right? That, that sounds weird, right? To, to most people that's like unimaginable. Right? It's so strange. It's, and I, I don't know if we acknowledge that right now because we're in this space, but it's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and out of that feeling of strangeness, we realize that it's not strange. We really, uh, realize that it's beautiful to surrender, to completely surrender, to love, hmm. and to not try and give back and fight back, not to try and fight love, even sometimes thinking that we're giving love back, but in reality we're just trying to push the love away, and that happened today in the session. Like she would put pressure and I would move away. And that felt like I was giving her something, like I was making it easier for her. But I re what I realized was that I was making it harder on myself because I wasn't allowing myself to feel pleasure and to feel the pain and to feel whatever it was that I was going to feel. So if we surrender, if we can truly surrender then, and we feel that pain, and that, then, like Mal said, right after that pain there's pleasure. I finally understand the concept of unconditional love. But when there's unconditional love, it breaks all boundaries, right? And it also allows for pain to come in. So it feels strange to be able to be so open to everyone, right? And I feel like that's the goal. But we are, everyone tells me that that's not the goal, that the goal is to be selective, right? Everyone tells me that the goal is to be selective and to separate ourselves from those who seem to not understand us and that we don't understand them. So it's tricky, right? It's tricky because we want to unconditionally love everyone. But there's so many messages that say that we shouldn't. And I don't know if I should believe those messages. So I guess if we find people who want to change, those are the people that we can give the love to. And the people that are not ready to change, then we just wait. I believe in humanity. So I believe that it's the good of the, of the human spirit that will change the world. And so I think when you come to a space like this and you meet some amazing people, it, it confirms my belief more than anything. It confirms my belief that it is down to humanity. It is down to people that I've met in this room that will make the difference to the world. And I think that's, that's what it's about. So I'd like to thank everybody. It's been an amazing experience. I think I am the least spiritual person here. <laughs> yeah. I have no background of any kind of spiritual things like I've never done yoga or meditation never uh, but for the last month I um, a friend of mine uh, taught me a way to ask things from the universe to come so I have uh, done this for the last month and I asked for three things every day the first was a teacher for this time of my life. The second one was to meet new, fascinating, interesting friends. <laughs> and the third was um, something new for my job. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, all of this happened in this week. And thank you. And I also, I'm not in the spiritual realm in my normal everyday life. I'm in actually in a very 
business-like masculine world and so coming into a place that's very feminine is awesome and it's it's what balances me out and I want to say how wonderful it is to be a girl and how amazing <laughs> that we as ladies how we feel sexually and this experience of having men touch you in a safe way and having them there in a, in a manner that's, that's beautiful and loving is awesome. And then having, being able to give that back, uh, my partner straight across from me and he was perfect. Um, and he was able to relax in his feminine also and then also have his masculine, which was perfectly matched with my feminine masculine. And I think when you're a whole person, you can feel both. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's, that's the goal to be here. And I want the men to feel what the women feel because the women have great sexual pleasures. And it's awesome when the man can feel that too. This morning I had received a session from an angel over there, Banu. Um, she really put so much dedication, so much love, so much presence, so all her Shakti into the session with me. I felt so cared for and I had very profound kind of emotional release together with certain realizations about my life. Um, for example, I shared this already with Banu, but it was profound, so I can share it with you as well. Like I could feel the purity I had as a child, and, and the way I tried it as a teenager to cloud this purity up to be more socially acceptable, mm. and I could feel the amazing tragedy of, of that, and that made me cry, and it came from so deep, and it made me just rediscover this purity I still had inside right now. Uh, I want to share about the uh, private session with Mara. I can share. Yeah, sure. And it was a long session. And while I, uh, when I saw my clock, I was surprised. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It took uh, five hours, eh? but it looks like short, but it is, looks like forever. <laughs> and I saw a lot of flash, blue, white, strong flash. And while I had some session with him, my mind said, stop, stop. You have to stop, you have to stop, you have to come back. But my body want to continue. And really, it makes me new experience. And I couldn't stop. And last war, he said to me, you try. <laughs> Just you try. And I answered, I was so tired, I want to finish, but my body said, I want to try. Mm. So I try, and after something happened, my body is can't stop really shaking, mm. especially my low back, and it really beautiful experience. And I want to share, really he do what he said, and I could believe this is really safety place. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I came here thinking I was spiritual and now I realise how much work I've got to do. So, I had the, one of the greatest experiences of my life yesterday, Kate, thank you. It was awesome. And I thought today, how can that possibly be followed? Should I even do it today? I'm not sure. Am I too sore? Am I too raw with my emotions and all this kind of thing? Anyway, I was fortunate to 
meet another beautiful Shakti. And I realised that it's, it's just about love. And if the love is there, it doesn't matter who's practising. Somebody who's really experienced, somebody who's new to it, the love is there. He gave me that love. Yeah, so this past year I've been really focused on replenishing myself and kind of giving myself back the love that was drained from me and put it in, in so that I could feel full again. And the past year, people have been telling me like, yeah, you've, you need to find the right place to put your love and put your energy into it in the right places so that you don't get drained. And I think, I think this today I feel really replenished with love because I gave so much love. And I feel like I found the right place where to put it. The session this morning was incredible. I mean, it's a kind of experience you don't have very often. And it was incredible to see how it was possible to have both deep work and pain and sensuality. And this was made perfectly. And it felt like not real, like I was somewhere else. And that the whole three hours and a half felt like it was five minutes, I don't know. And it was totally somewhere else. And people around were moving, screaming, I don't know. And I, I, I didn't even realize one of this. I was just, I think she was so, so present that I couldn't feel some, something else than here in the, in the massage, in the, in the presence. It was amazing. It's just a, such a beautiful way to express love, to let it flow in this way. And, and I love to hold space for other people. I just love it. It's so nourishing. So, and um, I, I feel my body much more. I'm much more aware of my own body also. So this is also very, very beautiful. Yeah, any expectations I had were definitely washed away. <laughs> um, I think that unlearned things that you maybe have learned before. You know, I've taken different tantra classes and meditation and yoga. But this is this surpasses in so many levels and so many realms the openness and seeing the transformation mm -hmm. is phenomenal. I've worked in the healing arts for many decades now and just to see the process of what, what was conveyed and to meet everyone in the, every, whatever way I did, mm -hmm. really touched, you know, with all of your lives. And I feel like there's some lifelong friends that I've created here mm -hmm. and made that will carry on for a long, long time. I thought at first, emotional detox, what in the world is that? <laughs> <laughs> Through tantra, Tao Tantra body work. That intrigued me, but emotional detox. But I can see now, this is really what Tantra is really, really about, because it's about letting go of anything, anything that's holding us back. You know, any fear, any misconception, any judgment, any of that is mm -hmm. just to get down to that raw, naked basis of mm -hmm. ourselves, really. Love ourselves and allow ourselves to love others and allow ourselves to be loved. Mm -hmm. That's what I experienced here this time. Um, in, 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 I, I practice very long time body work and, and I was always looking for more and more and I was missing something and, and now I have it. This is it. This is the missing piece of the puzzle, the sexual energy. And in and, and no other course they touch it in, in this way, with respect, with love, but with the speed we went through it. Amazing, mind-blowing, totally. It's been such a privilege to go on the journey with you this week. And I think I mentioned to a couple of people, um, 
aside from this work, which I absolutely love. In a way, just for me, to be able to help facilitate a space where people are coming into a place of love. I can't think of any other environment or situation that could give you more pleasure than that. So I really enjoyed uh, working with you. And uh, it's a beautiful group. And you all have the potential to be really, really good healers. And uh, when you are doing this work uh, with an, to another person, the, the four things that you need to have is uh, your spiritual growth. And physically you are satisfied with yourself. All your needs are met. And all your emotional needs are met. Uh, and financially, you're not doing this work for any financial reasons. You're doing this with pure love. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you are financially independent, that doesn't mean to say you're a multimillionaire. That means you're happy with what you have. If you're financially independent and you're not doing this work to make money, uh, and you are spiritually grown enough to hold the space to your client to do this work, rather than for your self-gratification, these are the spiritual growth that you need to have to do this work. And also emotionally, you are open, you have healed yourself, so that you can uh, do this work to help another person to release their emotions. So these are the ingredients that you need to have. And also physically, you satisfy yourself, all your physical needs, so you're not looking from the client for your physical needs. So if you have all these four things, then you'll be an amazing practitioner. And that's your own spiritual growth.